Hey everybody, welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Wednesday, August 29th. Happy hump day, Beth. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. I wasn't I, expecting that. So I was just being kind. <laughs> I am Ryan Lee Gilbert. And I'm Beth Stevens. And we are joined here in the studio by content producer Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. All that was of your good. adoring fans <laughs> out there. It's beautiful. <laughs> and we have a wonderful guest with us today. We have Red Concepcion from the Miss Saigon U.S. National Tour joining us in a little okay, bit. Okay, yes, ooh, round ooh, of applause. Ooh, yes, ooh, absolutely. Ooh, or whatever ooh. Caitlin's doing yeah, over there. Whatever, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, but first, before we talk to Red, let's go through today's top five. We've got the details in what has now become a musical theater staple event. You yeah. can hear the screams. The screams. <laughs> We're talking about LC Fest, of course. It's yeah, it's yeah. it's it's a tradition. Yeah. Absolutely. At it's this a tradition. Point, for sure. And it, this was started by Darren Chris, who has a lot of accolades, but most notably Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winner. Sure. But may <laughs> soon be an Emmy winner. <gasps> Fingers crossed. Yeah, for not going American wood. Crime Story. Yeah, absolutely. But he is a two time Emmy nominee and Broadway alum. Mm -hmm. And this one, okay, are you ready for these performances? I think performances so. by Sutton Foster. Yes. He's still my heart. I Joshua know. Henry, Alex Newell, and Grant Gustin, who are both on Glee with mm -hmm. Darren Chris, of Absolutely. course. Uh, Rufus Wainwright, Jody Benson. Wow. Plus The Prom, Be More Chill, Anna and the Apocalypse. Anyway, all of this all will take. All stars. All stars. Look at this. Yes. Darren. Yes, a major Everyone concert. Loves October 7th at Central Park Summer Stage in New York City. Uh, doors open at 5 o'clock, and the festival is scheduled to run from 6 to 10. Hopefully and there will be more cooler. performers. Oh, by October seventh, <laughs> everyone Hopefully. is melting in New York City today. It's so. really gross today. It's so. really gross. <laughs> and an exciting new play is transferring off Broadway. Yes, Daniel's Husband by Michael McKeever was it originally premiered last year at Primary Stages, but at the Cherry through Primary Stages, but at the Cherry Lane Theater, and now it is moving to Off Broadway's West Side Theater beginning on October eighteenth. It centers on two men personification of a perfect relationship. Aww. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice. Who have conflicting views of relationships and then a turn of events forces them to face these differences and they realize that their fundamental rights might not be as fundamental as they expected. Gripping. I'm already, I love that I'm, already I'm just pulled in, right? <laughs> um, the cast, the entire cast that did it before will return, including Ryan Spahn, Matthew Montalongo, Anna Holbrook, Leland Wheeler, and Tony nominee Lou Libero... Liberatory? Liberatory. Liberatory. <laughs> yes. Use your hand, it gets easier. Uh, and Joe, Ban Joe Brancato will return as work. To, will return to do his work as director. Um, it will begin October 18th and will officially open at the West Side Theater on October 28th. A star cut. Whoa, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Frog in your throat. <laughs> a star-studded cast recording is coming your way. Okay, we're just talking about October a lot, which I love. Yes, October. Okay, we're all are you ready. ready for these? This is an all star situation. Again. Again. I'm just doing all star things. That's you. That's, you've got all that. Hot that's, news. My, that's my. <laughs> so, this is Yellowstone Label has announced a special all star, as I said, cast recording of David Rossmer and Stephen Rosen's The Other Josh love Cohen, which is going to have an off Broadway uh, revival. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once again, are you ready? Once again, I'm starting. <laughs> I was going to say, start with the bay. I'm going to start <laughs> with the important person in my life. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm in hers, Sutton Foster. Wow, yes. busy. <laughs> James Sutton. Monroe, Iglehart, also a Tony winner. Brian Darcy James, Richard Kind, Hank Azaria. This is truly all star. Wow. Jen truly. Colella, Casey Levy, James Rode, Lindsay Mendez, Tony Celia Win Keenan. Sorry, <laughs> Tony winner. It's, it's contracted that yes. I say Tony winner. <laughs> yes. Lindsay Mendez, Celia Keenan Boulder, John Elson Conley, her husband, his wife, get right. Mm -hmm. Sarah Chase, Sarah Bishop, E. Clayton Cornelius, who's fantastic. Jeremy Geller, Marissa Rosen, and Rashidra wow. Scott. Album wow. is set for release wow. on October 19th. Get out a pumpkin spice latte and listen to <laughs> this. Well done. Hunter Foster, brother of Sutton Foster, mm -hmm. it will be directing the staging at the West Side Theater where that is also playing. When Daniel's husband is done. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Previews begin on October 26th with opening night officially set for November 12th. Very exciting. Very cool. Very full circle moment. And a popular show is going to be dancing for only a little bit longer in London. Sadly, I did not get the chance to go to London and see Strictly Ballroom, the musical, on well, the West End. Do you have any time left? But I don't have any time. No, <laughs> I'm very busy here. But oh, it, is, it is closening at the Piccadilly Theater on October 27th. Mm -hmm. Olivier Award winner Drew McConey directs and choreographs the show. Of course, he is now here in rehearsals for King Kong, which he is directing and choreographing right here on Broadway. Uh, the cast, ZZ Strahlin, Johnny Levy, and Matt Cardle. Um, 
Also, Baz will be continued to be represented yes. on stage with Moulin Rouge. Baz of Lerman. Course. Baz Lerman. Are you on a first you know, name, yes. a first name <laughs> basis? Me, me and Baz. Baz. <laughs> yes. Um, but make sure you go see Strictly Ballroom while you still can. In London. In, In London. London. Not here. And another Dear Evan Hansen original cast members head into the screen. Oh, do, don't we miss Mike Feist? We do. Oh, do. Mike Feist, such a great guy. Ugh. Of course, a Tony nominee miss for him. Dear Evan Hansen. Mm -hmm. He is now going to be the star of an Amazon YA pilot. If it's YA, I should just be looking at Ryan. He knows mm -hmm. everything about the YA I world. I uh, it's called Panic, and it's based on Lauren oh, Oliver's best-selling yes. book of the I've same name. Oh, of course. <laughs> I, will I will say what the plot is, and then you Please. can see if it's correct. <laughs> Here we go. Panic centers on a forgotten town where each year mm -hmm. the high school seniors play a high-stakes game to win a life-changing pot of money. Yeah, it is. It's, it's correct. Really good. Yeah. Correct. Good thing we got it well right. Done. Feist will play the new kid in town, Dodge Mason, which is one of the best character names I've heard in a while. I love that name. Uh, yeah. Joined in the cast by fellow Broadway alum, Ashley Sharp Chestnut and Olivia Welsh. So congratulations to Mike Feist. Way to go. Well, thank you so much, Beth. Thank well, you. It's so nice doing the news with you. Caitlin, why don't you tell us a little bit about today's guest? Of course. Guys, today we have Red Concepcion in the studio with us, and he is about to be welcoming audiences all across the country to Dreamland as the engineer and the U.S. national tour of Miss Saigon. But he is no stranger to this role because he's been the engineer for the U.K. tour of Miss Saigon, so we're super excited to have him here. He's also been in a ton of productions like Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, West Side Story, and Hairspray. Be sure to leave all your questions in the comments down below and follow Red on social media at Red underscore underscore score <laughs> underscore. I don't know that word today. Red underscore Concepcion. Everyone, please welcome Ryan and Red. Hello there, sir. Hello. Thanks so much for joining us in our studio here. We're so excited to have I, you. I am so thrilled to be here. Yeah. Like, I am thrilled. It, <laughs> No Very words. Exciting. No words. Um, so you are going to be playing the engineer in the U.S. Yes. national tour of Miss Saigon. Mm -hmm. You're pretty familiar with this role, <laughs> you know. Now you, you've been you've been pretty busy mm -hmm. with it lately. I, yes, I have. I, I did it in the U.K. for about uh, a year and a half. Right. But right. yeah, um, touring all around the U.K. and now I'm here. Like it's been a whirlwind, actually. I think I've got like <laughs> whiplash from like just how crazy the past sure. like three years of my life has been. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm from like the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm from the right. Philippines, and um, they usually Cameron McIntosh and his scene, They usually go to Manila. Right. You know, I think you know. There's a long list of like uh, Filipino performers who did Miss Saigon, course, like you know, of course, Leah Salonga mm -hmm. and um, John Jambriones. So yeah, yeah. and right. and so I feel very honored to be kind of. You know, representing. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I want to know. So, you before we get start talking about Miss Saigon a little bit more, tell me a little bit about yourself. How mm -hmm. did you? How did you get involved in performing? What was that? Did you see something that inspired it? Okay, uh, <laughs> my both my parents were uh, musical theater actors in the Philippines. Oh, yeah, before okay. they had me, yeah. and um, um, and then they had me, and then they had to kind of stop. You know, <laughs> back in the back in the day in in Manila, um, it wasn't kind of feasible to have a kid okay and uh, um, you know maintain a career in sure. theater yeah. right at that time um, so when I grew up and I wanted to be in musical theater they yeah. really were like kind of mm, maybe don't do that right maybe you explore know? maybe there. explore <laughs> something else you know <laughs> right um, and obviously everybody knows that the way to get a kid to do something. <laughs> tell them that you tell don't them that you don't want to do them. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, I I really wanted to do them but to do it, and so I was like determined to prove them wrong, and yeah. so um, um, I got a scholarship to study musical theater in Fantastic. Singapore. Yeah. Fantastic. I also got a scholarship to study science. <laughs> Yeah, you know which so one you chose. <laughs> <I> chose. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom was like, "You got a scholarship in science, but I also got this scholarship in musical theater. Right. I'm doing this, and yeah. uh, and now they are just oh, absolutely over the moon. Of course, like they, they are, are very, very of proud. Course. And my dad has come back into theater. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. And you have yeah. a brother who's an actor, singer, right? Exactly. He's so a, there was no stopping. There was no <laughs> stopping. Like they tried to fight. Like it's kind of like hot wired in our system. <laughs> no, they tried to fight it, but yeah. Well, we're all the luckier, of <laughs> course. Um, and now this production. Why are you excited? What What do you like most about this production of Miss Saigon? Why do you think this? You know, is the mm -hmm. the right one to be? You know, touring all across the country and. Um, you know, I think we we're we are in a period of time now globally where, um, like, 
stories from all over and need mm -hmm. to be out there. Mm -hmm. You know, stories from, um, I mean, you've got like movies coming out about like people of color as well. Like, Certainly. you know, Crazy Rich Asians Absolutely. is out there, right? You know, yes. so I, yeah. uh, when they asked me if I wanted to do the U.S. national tour, mm -hmm. I said yes immediately. I wanted yeah. to be part of that narrative sure. of, mm -hmm. of just putting out Asian stories out there. And, you know, uh, the team, our fabulous director Lawrence Connor has mm -hmm. like really made it, uh, made sure that like we present this story in its most honest form. Yeah, you know, I mean, yep. still keeping all the spectacle, sure. still keeping all like the the um, the you know the dazzle right. that, that like you, you know expect that you from, expect. Yeah, sure. But also making sure that like it's a very human story, mm -hmm. yeah. and so that we made sure that like the humanness comes out, and um, you know, I mean, it's about people who are just dealing with the after effects of mm -hmm. war, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And I think, I mean, I haven't been in this world uh, for a long time, but you know, <laughs> people have very short memories, I feel. Mm -hmm. they, so, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? you know, and it's a show that maintains its timeliness. Exactly. You, know, for good you or need worse. to be yeah, like reminded really. about, you know, absolutely. the power of love and like mm -hmm. how, you know, love can make you endure incredible things. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think Miss Saigon is always going to be timely and relevant, absolutely. At, you know, throughout the years. Did I read correctly that you joined the UK tour of Miss Saigon mm -hmm. before you had actually ever seen Miss Saigon? <laughs> yes, I had <laughs> never seen it before. Right. Okay. You knew the music though, I I'm knew assuming. the music, of course, I knew, of course, yeah. I knew the music. Uh, yeah. We had like, my parents had, when I was a kid, my parents had like, the, uh, the it was in a binder. It was a set of like eight cassette oh, I, tapes yes, of I know like exactly the, what you're the you know <laughs> the <laughs> cast album with Leia, Jonathan Price, sure, and like yes. so like you know so there was a lot of like rotation you mm -hmm. know playing in the in in my house back when I was a kid, um, but I had never seen it. So I had you know yeah. I didn't I knew the songs, but I didn't know the. Yeah, what it was all about, yeah. you know. Um, was someone kind <laughs> enough to take you to see it before you actually got involved? <laughs> no, actually, I think I think they were telling me that like it helped mm, that I had really? never seen it oh, because yeah, I was yeah. seeing it you, yeah. with like fresh eyes, and I had sure. I was able to kind of like create the engineer from scratch absolutely you know and and you know i was guided by like a very amazing team you know mm -hmm. again with lawrence connor and uh mu amazing musical supervisor uh stephen brooker yeah and jeffrey garrett our like um associate staging is that correct mm -hmm. like yeah yeah <laughs> and anytime you're working <laughs> you know cameron mcintosh you're, exactly you're and camera mcintosh they really hands, kind yeah. of like um guided me through the sure. whole thing and um yeah, and I still haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I think you get a free pass. I, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, you know, I think you're I, okay now. Oh no, yeah. actually I have. I saw I saw one run. I saw my uh, my alternate when he went on. Oh, so gotcha. Okay, good. I good. saw it, and it's, it's it's spectacular, really. Like. Yeah. I mean, I can say that there's a helicopter, right? The helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> we know. <laughs> make sure that that's still, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and the, but I mean, the engineer is just such a iconic and demanding mm -hmm. role with so many different. You know, there have been so many different interpretations of the role. Mm -hmm. But what is it? Wh where do you? Where did you piece your engineer mm -hmm. from? Did you? Did you pull? Where did you pull inspiration from? Or did you kind of just build him from um, scratch? Uh, you know, I mean, there are some kind of um, less than savory parts of sure, the world that I, course, you know, I'm in yeah. Manila as well, and in like in a lot of other Southeast Asian mm -hmm. countries. So like I, before I left for for the UK tour, mm -hmm. I kind of like just tried to do a little research on like yeah, what absolutely. it's like to be in that um, kind of world, right? Mm -hmm. But I think what um, I really tried to do was to really get down to like what he really wanted. And all he really, really wanted was to survive. Yeah. You know, and right. I, I, I tried my best to kind of make that the, the driving force sure. and that people really can see it. Because mm -hmm. he's not a very, like you said, he's not a very savory character. Right. You know, he's in, all shades of gray. Mm -hmm. No, there's no black well, and white to this lives guy. In the world he of lives gray. in the yeah, world absolutely. of gray, right? But I felt that there needed to be something that people could still kind of like latch onto. Yep. Because like yep. you will be seeing, you know, this guy for like, you know, two hours. Mm -hmm. What was it about him that like people would still kind of care about? Absolutely. You know, I yeah. mean, because I think it would be easy to kind of like play him as like a out and out villain. Right. Mm -hmm. But then, but you when know, you find yourself laughing at some of the exactly, things laughing, like committed yeah. to his Why? Story. Why? Yeah, and it, right. I think people just really um, 
identify with the need to survive. Absolutely. And like, and, and how you, you know, when you are backed into a corner, you know, it's, it's a reflex to kind of uh, do whatever you can mm -hmm. to just get out of it. And it's just that the engineer has not had any of the resources that like I say Kim has had right. or Chris mm -hmm. has had. Mm -hmm. They've come from a family that was, you know, pretty much, mm -hmm. you know, kind of supporting and I, I suppose loving, but right. like the engineer didn't have that. So he's really doing the best that he can with what he's ever what had he's to make had. up for himself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's where all the unsavoriness comes out from mm -hmm. and all like the grayness. Yeah, but also, and you get one of the, the engineer gets such an amazing number in the American oh. dream. It's just, do you still get chills doing, just thinking to yourself like, I'm playing the engineer right now <laughs> doing this number. It's like, does it still no, it, affect it you does. that way? Every time, yeah. every time. Yeah. And it comes at like, right at the very end. So like, <laughs> right, right. you know, you get like this, amazing spectacular number mm -hmm. so um it's it's unbelievable actually sometimes i do at the end of it when i finally hit my final pose it's like what am i doing yeah. here <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how did i get here That's yeah. amazing. and now i'm in a different continent all together <laughs> yeah. doing right. the same right. show and like how did i get here it's it's amazing it's amazing um yeah yeah, so, no, yeah. it's so cool. And here you are in New York. Um, have you been to New York before? This is my first time. <gasps> very first well, time. My um, very first what do, time. What, what do you think? <laughs> uh, it's amazing. <laughs> you know what I like about New York? Please. Is that there's like a s sense of possibility, like yeah. in the air. You come out of the apartment, um, and you never know what's going to happen. Right. You know, it, it, you know, you hear about that. You hear that about New York. Yeah. But like when I finally got here, yeah. it was like it's true. It's like it's electric. Like yeah. the air is electric. And this community in particular, when you're surrounded by people mm -hmm. that are all mm -hmm. kind of pursuing their dreams this way and you know want to contribute to musical theater in this way, it's got to be very invigorating. And yeah, and they're amazing. Like mm -hmm. this cast is absolutely amazing. I've met a yeah. few of you. Yeah, and you're, yep, you're pretty spectacular. Emily Bautista <laughs> is just so honestly, sounds like an angel. Yeah. And like and Anthony Festa mm -hmm. as well and. Uh, like the ensemble's amazing. Like the acrobats in this show are just yeah. people. You know. You're all in for mm. a treat. You hear mm -hmm. that? What are you? And I want to take some questions from people that are watching. Yeah. But for what are you? You're gonna travel this whole country, this whole continent, mm -hmm. North American tour. What are you most excited about when you embark on that journey? Okay, if you check out my Instagram, I've got <laughs> something called Red Tries British Grub, where like I try like foods from like different yes, parts that's, of it. I so hope like it's the food. That exactly. <laughs> So like so if we're I going to your if you're going if we are going to your town like please tell me what I should try because yes. like I will try it and you Do will it. see my unadulterated like <laughs> first reaction. Yeah, I can't <laughs> I'm very excited. I very love excited. it, Caitlin. What would they like to know? Yes, of course. So Joe would like to know what is your favorite moment in the show? Oh, besides you. Besides. <laughs> besides. <laughs> you know what? My favorite moment in the show is I still believe, which is mm. a. A, uh, a duet uh, between Kim and Ellen. Um, you'll get to know them when you see the show. <laughs> uh, but it's a it's it's a really heartfelt number, and sometimes I have to stop myself from watching it mm. so that I don't get a you know <laughs> right. get carried away by like how amazing these two women are. Sure. Um, but it's really one of the most beautiful songs I feel in the in the show. Mm -hmm. Was that a song that you did, did when you were only listening? Was that a song that you connected with? Yes, just listening yes, to it yes. Well? And my mom, I think, really loved it, so she would constantly play it. So mm -hmm. um, I knew all the all the words to like yeah. the old version. They've changed some <laughs> of it. Sing along now. with yeah, them. Yeah, in sing the along wings. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I like this question. So. Um, Herbert asks, was there a conscious effort to differentiate yourself from other people who have played the engineer or were you able to, because you haven't seen it, just been able to, I don't know, yeah, bust that's out? Yeah, exactly. Um, um, I, yeah, exactly. I've kind of made my own thing, but again, I was really guide, guided by mm -hmm. our team. But the good thing about the engineer is that it could be played in a million different ways. Right. Yeah. Right. It's that yeah. kind of charac uh, character that just has a lot of layers in them and a lot mm -hmm. of like, um, just it's such a rich character. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like, absolutely. There is, I think, 
there's a lot of valid ways to do it. And I found my own way, and hopefully it, it seemed to have worked. I mean, they, yeah. they're asking yeah. you to stick around. <laughs> they, yeah. you know, so I guess I'm doing it's something working. right. I think you're doing and pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like so, it. Yeah. But, and not to boast on behalf of you, mm -hmm. but you just in getting to know you a little bit and seeing your all of your credits, everything that you've done you know, before you, you joined the UK tour of mm -hmm. Miss Saigon, uh, it just all over the place yeah. in terms of <laughs> musical, I mean, the, yeah. the eclectic nature of what you've already done. It clearly in hands that are you know can kind of do whatever. Well, thank you. That's well, you're very welcome. But I mean, from hairspray <laughs> to yeah. Priscilla to Equus yeah. to I mean, just good, uh, good yeah. grief. Yeah, I, I you know I did my best to kind of like <laughs> as a young actor, I tried to get in as many shows as I could, mm -hmm. um, and especially in Manila where you could do like three or four a year. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I and if you get lucky, and I kind of got lucky, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So I tried my best to, and I guess. All of that, all that I've learned throughout my career, I kind of like pouring into this role, yeah. into mm -hmm. the engineer. Um, well, he's a showman. So he's a showman, exactly. He's a right. showman. He's a charlatan. He's also very like deeply human and hurt. Mm -hmm. So like, um, I think the universe just kind of prepared me to be yeah. here, I guess. Yeah. Perfect yes. storm, mm -hmm. right? I love it. We can do a few more questions. Sure. So George asks, Is there are there any cities that you are particularly excited about visiting? I've heard very good things about Chicago. <laughs> you are going to love mm -hmm. Chicago. You gotta get their pizza. Yeah. Exactly. And the hot dogs. Uh, yeah. Chicago dogs. I've tried the I've tried the New York pizza, and I'm gonna try the Chicago mm -hmm. pizza, and I'm gonna. Oh, I'm anxious to hear. Yeah, see you, you know. <laughs> my husband's from Chicago, so <laughs> I've had to I've had to toe a very fine line. Right. What I right. say is my favorite pizza. I will let you know. But <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to hear. I love it. Okay, so this one. Okay, Caitlin asks, how, like, what has being the engineer for so long taught you? What mm. ha lessons are you taking away from this role? Good question. Hmm. I think um, playing the engineer, um, it's, I guess it's very easy to like judge people. I think that's what I've learned. But mm -hmm. like until you really know what they've been through and where, you know, the circumstances of their life, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I mean, it doesn't excuse that person from what they, they've done mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. what they're about to do and what they're doing. But like, um, it just teaches you to kind of empathize. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, I think, you know, I, it's something that gets lost, like this the, this empathy, you know, because we're all looking at our screens now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I've learned to kind of like really try to connect with, this, with people and kind of get to know their story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you go out on stage and you, you perform mm -hmm. the show, is there, do you have in mind something that, I, going off of this, that mm -hmm. ideally you hope audiences leave the show thinking about, wanting to engage people with? Like, what, what do you hope they leave the show feeling? Um, I, I, I wish people could kind of like, um, just be reminded of like how horrific, how horrific and how horrible war can be. Mm -hmm. And that like, yeah. war can kind of, even when it's done, mm -hmm. like, I mean, Miss Saigon spans years. Yeah. Like, the storyline is years. And you were, like, three years after, four years after, people are still kind of reeling from the effects mm -hmm. of w that war. And um, I don't know if there is, a you know, kind of like a war coming in the future or, or if there is one going to be in our lifetime. Right. But uh, I just hope that people come out of this with, like, a, a resolve to stop war. Mm -hmm. as you know and do everything that they can to yeah. not make the world go down that path again mm -hmm. right and to just recognize the humanity mm -hmm. in one another exactly right? yeah. yeah absolutely and Caitlin, Amazing. i think we have time yes one let's do question. one more question okay so anthony asks what draws you to performing in live theater and how have you overcome major challenges Ooh, defying his parents <laughs> 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 No. Defying his parents, yeah. Oh my God, how much time do you have for that question? That's <laughs> like, no, okay. Um, I was a very shy kid, as a you know, uh, yeah. when I was a kid, I was very shy, and I found my home in theater. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I found my confidence in it. Mm -hmm. um, there was something about being another person that made me as a person better. Oh. Yeah. If that makes any That's sense. Beautifully put. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like. Um, in exploring another character, I get to explore myself. Yeah, and oh, I, absolutely. you know, and I believe that kind of helped me to love myself. And by loving myself, it made me a better actor. It's kind of like this, 
cycle of like um, self-sustaining cycle of love, sure. if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Absolutely. I know that's yeah. very like no. uh, you know <laughs> cheesy, but like it's no, true. That's it's true. It's yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And before we let you go, dream role. What's yeah. what's your dream role out there? I mean, once you've tackled the engineer, it's pretty hard. But you know what? Honestly, else? sweetie. Really, sweetie yeah. has okay. always been my yeah. my dream role. All right. Yeah. Well, you heard it here, producers. Make it happen. Yes. All right. But in the meantime, <laughs> make sure you go check out Red Concepcion in the U.S. and now the North American tour of Miss Saigon, headed all over the continent. Thank you so much, thank sir, you for thank joining you. us. Such a pleasure having you and my meeting pleasure, you. I'm yes. very excited for you, <laughs> Caitlin. Why don't you take us out? Of course. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at five every single day on Facebook, and you can listen to all of our shows in podcast form by searching hashtag live at five and hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the biggest Broadway news and interviews. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when we talk to Brandon J. Ellis of the Play That Goes Wrong national tour.